the only player who's undroppable in the history of Call of Duty, there's only one guy. Do you guys know who this guy is? Do you guys know who I'm talking about? There's truly only one man in the history of the game. I don't even got to say it. I don't even got to say it. Everyone unanimously behind closed doors at the highest level of Call of Duty always has this convo. Who's undroppable? Who's undroppable? Who's undroppable? There's only one guy. There's only one guy. And he knows damn well he is. He knows it. He knows. That's why he don't flex it. That's why he's that guy. He is that guy for a lot of reasons. And everyone knows why. So if you're not him, shut your fucking mouth. If you're not the king, shut the fuck up. End of story. Shut the fuck up. If you're not the king, try to follow in his footsteps and see where you end up. Bro, no disrespect to Ibizi, but he ain't scum. No disrespect. No disrespect. Scump is undroppable simply because he did everything I did, Nade Shot did, and Krim did combined into one without any emotion. That's the key. Scump won. He got his MVPs. He grew the scene. He grew his own channels. He grew Optic Gaming. He never fed into emotion. He performed well. He did everything right. And you know who's following in his footsteps right now? Peso. The one you just said. Shotzi. Shotzi's following in Scump's footsteps as we speak. So it just tells you a lot, guys. Scump's judgment is pretty good when it comes to some of these guys, like Shotzi. I mean, Shotzi is that guy in real time. Everyone wants to be like that, right? And that's what you should be doing. You shouldn't be looking up to this type of stuff. When I see these types of tweets from Gunless or Asim or, you know, Diamond Con, like, think about it like this, man. Would Scump tweet any of this stuff if he got dropped? Probably not. So... That was always the thought I had that kept me straight. Obviously, my emotions got to me too, and I got my ass dropped too because there's only one guy who's undroppable, the king.